May I introduce to you my new wife, Colette? The wild days are done, eh? On the contrary, the wild days have just begun. You've married a literary entrepreneur. You've married a country girl without a penny to her name. We're doomed, aren't we? <laughs> Willie is a brand. I take all the risk and there's still no money. We need more output. You, you could write. My school stories. Yes, that could be Willie's next novel. Are you writing for him too? Yes. He's made you one of his ghosts already. My name is Claudine. I live in Montigny. I shall probably not die there. It's beautiful. We've never had one fly off the shelves like this before. And do you know who's buying it? Young women. Really? Willie, your book will change the world! Claudine! Subtle as ever. I have a little plan to turn Claudine into the most popular girl in the entire world. I believe Willie based Claudine on your school days. Yes, I think I had a little something to contribute. Finally, we have a success, and then you imply that I'm not the true author of it. People love to talk. I understand the mentality here. You don't. I understand it well enough to write a book that's a toast to Paris. You've done something important. All those young girls, we've given them a voice. You should own up to it. He was after you. Your jealousy is misplaced. How so? It was the wife I found interesting. We're holding dynamite here that could blow our bloody heads off. Since when have you considered scandal to be a bad thing? Oh, how interesting. Your love line splits into three. You must get used to marriage. Better to make marriage get used to you. People are begging for more. I don't want to write another Claudine. Are you out of your mind? Right. You bastard! No one can take away who you are. Destroy these. Incinerate them. You found me when I knew nothing. You molded me to your own desires. And you thought that I could never break free. Well, you're wrong. The hand that holds the pen writes history.